You guys, tomorrow is big day. Hi, what's up? Hey vlog. Hey vlog. Tomorrow is a big day. I am finally getting my surgery. Yeah. We got the call and said everything is all set. Ready to go, my blood came back, everything's good, everything came back, everything's normal, thank God. My mother in law is gonna fill up my aguacate. <laughs> <laughs> she did my bag, which I am bringing. You need wipes. The doctor said you need wipes. You need like regular baby wipes, I guess, but I didn't pack any. But we had these wipes that we're gonna be using. You're gonna need your. Um, Jenna? You're gonna need your. Oh, she's filling up on the water. You're gonna need your muscle shirts or your um, tank caps that go underneath your faja. You're gonna need your Kotex or your pads that are gonna go in your faja también. You're gonna want your Vapi pillow. You're gonna want little towels. I think they're just gonna stuff you up as much as they can with your faja. I thought about recording after she had already did the maleta because I'm just like so nervous about tomorrow. Hopefully you guys can hear me. So then you would not want to need clothes to come home. Something light, like a dress, a summer dress, something that you don't care that's gonna get ruined. I packed underwear just in case, toothbrush, you know, just in case they let me brush my teeth. I'm, like, I'm hoping they'll let me brush my teeth. Obviously your money that you're gonna pay, because I still haven't paid, you pay the date of surgery. My mother-in-law, she's taking her stuff because she's the one staying with me. I'm not having a recovery nurse. I'm having my mother-in-law stay with me. So you can have a family member stay with you, or you can hire a nurse. Basically just to watch you um, throughout the night, and if you need any type of help or whatever, you know, they're there to help you out. So I have my mother-in-law, who's gonna help me out. Her right there, she's filling out my avocado. <laughs> my avocado. I have my sandals. I have what else? I think that's pretty much it. My boppy pillow, of course. I don't know if I said that already. I'm gonna bring my boppy pillow. My charger. Make sure you bring your charger and an extension cord if you have one, just in case, you know, um, the extension or the outlet is too far away from the bed. So, and make sure you bring an extension, I mean, a charger that's like at least 10 feet long, because you never know. So, yeah, that's all I'm bringing. They're over here fighting with the avocado. Yes. We did it. Yay! It's done. The avocado is done. It's beautiful. Oh. Thank you. Can you put them on the bed? Will it be too high? <laughs> Thank you. 
sé. ¿Cómo vamos a parar? Ya no puedo hacer fuerza. You guys have made it out of surgery. Um, a little out of breath, not too much. And my tummy tuck area feels very swollen. Well, not swollen, very sore. Like I did a thousand hunches. So I'm so like, <laughs> I don't have my faha on, which I found weird. I guess they don't put your faja on until the, uh, day two here, but I will show you guys what I have on. So I guess I'm a little bruised. But yeah, she did my full back lipo and my abdominoplasty. I told her to give me some hips and she's like, you like that? I'm like, I love that. Give me that. <laughs> she started laughing. She's like, I wish I had that when I was young too. When I was young too. Oh no, that's the shit. I think I might be able to throw up. So I have my IV. 
my mother-in-law says I've gone through already two bags of IV fluids and I have a catheter and it's like on this side and it's draining all my fluids for all my pee. I also have this right here, which is, I guess it's filling up okay. I'm not sure it's working. And doctor said everything else went well. When I'm a little bit better, I'll tell you guys details of the surgery. Or I can say right now too. Of the things that I remember, there was just a lot going on. I was six. I was here in C plus from six fifty in the morning, and the doctor had an emergency. There was a, another doll that had had surgery the day before, and I guess she was trying to move on her own because she didn't have a nurse or she didn't have anybody to stay with her overnight no family member or anything so she ended up falling out of bed i guess when she was trying to get out of bed like you know you're supposed to take your time and then wait till like all your blood flow goes throughout your body i guess she didn't wait and she ended up falling and the doctor had to go up and you know rush her into the operation room and stitch her back up because she opened up a couple stitches which is not good you guys not good stay in bed i'm uncomfortable right now i want to move my legs feel numb like i can still move them so that means the anesthesia is wearing off i am feeling nauseous and i was freezing so make sure you guys bring your blanket okay because i was Freezing when I came into this room. So yeah, I, I didn't get to go to the fourth floor where they operate until like one. Yeah, like around one in in the afternoon, and then around two thirty ish, you um you'll see a clip of me just being rolled out and, and saying goodbye <laughs> to my mother in law. No. No. I had already had the blue pill like 30 minutes before they gave me the blue pill so they rolled me into surgery and there were three women in there very nice they sat me on the on the bed I was already loopy by that time. I laid down and they're like, are you nervous? In Spanish, I'm like, yes, I'm a little nervous. They're like, don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. I'm like, okay, thank you. And then after that, oh, I have my IV here too. They had put that before I was rolled into a surgery room. So I have my IV and when they flush in the fluids, they flush it in quick. That shit hurts, it was so bad. <laughs> Not so bad, but it burned. I was like, oh, like, dang. She's like, I know, I'm sorry. And then she did it like three times. Yeah, she did it once. And then she did it a second time. And then finally, when the doctor came in, she did it a third time. And I think it was to like make me more relaxed because um, after they had done that, they sat me on the corner of the bed, like, and they passed me, like, they were going to give me an epidural. So. I had one nurse in front of me. She laid my head on her on her shoulders, and they're like, "Let me know when you're feeling loopy," and then that's it. I don't remember anything else. I knocked out from there. I was waking up when they were giving me lipo, and I can feel the sensation of the up and down, up and down, up and down. I wasn't feeling any pain. It's just I felt like I couldn't breathe, and I kept moving my arms down. And the nurse kept moving it up. She's like, no, 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 leave it here. And uh, I was like, oh, I'm uncomfortable. And, she, and I just kept moving it down. And she's like, no, 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 you gotta keep it up here. I was like, oh my God, please be done, be done. Day one, full stop. And 
we still sore? I'm show you guys real quick. Look at that ass. Oh, let's see. Look at that ass. Oh my god. It's huge. And I'm just saying. I'm drowning a lot. I have a lot of gas in my stomach. I'm burping a lot. I can't stand up straight. As y'all can see, I have to be like hunched over. I'm gonna sit down because I get lightheaded quick. But it's more um, sore. More sore than pain. And I'm sitting on my bobby pillow. I can't find a comfortable position position to be in bed because when I'm laying, obviously I have to lay on my butt. But um, I tried, like I, I don't, I'm gonna show you guys in the clip, to lay like a V, have my legs kind of like dangle over the pillows and have my back supported by pillows. And then hopefully one pillow underneath my bum because the bed I sleep in is really, really hard. Talking hurts. Like I put in the breath really fast. So I think she did repair my muscles. I forgot to ask her. But I think she did because my stomach is tight. My hemoglobin was at 12, 12 on the dot. It was 12.7 or 12.5 in the States. And when I came here, it dropped to 12, 12 on the dot, 12.0. So my blood type is a B negative and they only had i think she said two liters of that type of blood and it was me and some other surgery sister who also was b negative and thankfully neither of us needed blood transfusion she only had a lipo but i had more work i had tummy tuck lipo and bbl i think she had bbl as well and um the doctor said thankfully neither of us needed those you know that blood Thank God, as of now, my hemo is uh, 9.6, is what she told me. So they want me to drink plenty of water, plenty of fluids, and um, try to eat as healthy as I can. Uh, I've been drinking Ensure, Gatorade, I took my vitamins. I have been eating anything because I feel nauseous. I mean, scratch that, I ate um, toast. They gave me like a grilled cheese at the hospital before I got discharged. So I ate that and they gave me like a little thing of coffee. I drank that too. And then I just been on pain meds this whole time. Um Hey guys, it's day two of my operation. Oh my god, so still bruised. I feel like I I did my lips for nothing because they look they look the same. Yeah, I mean, they look the same. But it's day two. It's eight something, like eight twenty. And I'm gonna show you guys the list of medications that you need to take. But um, last night I told my mother not give me two of the painkillers because I was uncomfortable. You know, you're not supposed to sleep on your butt, but since you have a tummy tuck, you're gonna have to sleep on your butt. You can't sleep on your stomach. So she put as much pillows as she can underneath my legs and underneath my back, and I slept like kind of like a V. So like my head was like this and my legs were mostly up. So like my legs were like going over the pillows. That was the only comfortable um that was a comfortable way that I can sleep. I think I'm gonna show you guys a video of me. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how somewhat how I slept. Because I did record myself during the day how you know I was laying. But um you're gonna take a lot of pills. 
throughout the day. I'm gonna show you guys the list. I took a picture of all the pills. Plus, they in, um, give you five insures, like I think the insure plus. So basically, you have to buy the pills at the guy's office, and they cost you $280. Um, when this is all over, I'm gonna show you guys, like, I'm gonna do another video, and it's gonna be about everything that I spent in DR, like miscellaneous and uh, the surgery and all that stuff when everything's all set up done. I'll show you guys like expenses. But this is day two and my grandma is making me breakfast. I just took like three pills right now that I was supposed to take right now at eight in the morning. And then today is the day that she has to wash my faha. So if you guys want, buy a stage one compression faha. That way you don't have to be out of it for too long because in DR there are some places where they wash, um, they don't have drying machines so they can't dry right away but they will wash and then they hang it to dry and it usually takes like two hours and that's like about how much you can, you know, it's about how much you can be outside of your faha which is two hours. So mine got really dirty. Uh, make sure you bring maxi pads, the very thick, long ones, like super absorbent. That way you can put it in your bag because I'm gonna show you guys a picture of my bag, but I do have like a little drain coming out of my bag, and it did bother me a little bit yesterday, but not as much. Only when I was like moving in and out of bed, it was bothering me a little bit, but I do have like a what is it called? The maxi pad right on the drain. So that helps with absorbing all the fluids that be coming out of my back. So when I went to the hospital, I bought, I guess, the wrong maxi pad, the wrong like, the extra thick one. And I didn't, really, I didn't find or didn't know that there was supposed to be extra thick. I just bought a lot. It was like, oh, I'll do. But as soon as you get home, you're going to have to change these because they're going to get full. And she wasn't lying. They did get full quick. So my mother-in-law went out and she bought some more and she bought like three packs of the big maxi packs. So yeah, today I'm feeling much better than yesterday. I feel like if anything, my back hurts because I'm like slouched, slouched over. I'm show you guys, I'm recording on my phone. So I got like my back, you see how I'm like slouched over. That's the only thing that hurts right now. I got the maxi pads and then I got the drain that's bothering me. That thing right there. And so far, so good. Remember, I'm draining. My mother in law did have to, like, last night I noticed that there was a huge blood clot in my drain and it didn't seem like I was draining. So she had to pull this apart, the little one. She had to pull this little one apart and with like a syringe. If you're staying at a recovery house, they'll do it for you. But with the syringe, she was taking out the blood clot. Buenos dias. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's my breakfast. Oh, in short that the doctor gives you. Uh, now I'm gonna eat. And I'll update you guys later on. That's another thing, I do to eat too much because you get full right away. So you wanna eat little, little, I guess, a little bit throughout the day. That way you won't eat big meals and you're super full because it's uncomfortable, it's an un uncomfortable feeling. But yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my little quesadilla. It has just cheese and pepperoni. And my inshore, I drink my pills with Gatorade. And then the doctor wants me to drink a gallon of water a day, which it's not gonna happen. <laughs> but I will try my best to drink as much water as I can.
We're gonna do some exercise. We're gonna walk. Guys, I can spend all day sitting down. Jose, no está aquí, verdad que no? Y después me hincho. O si no, la vida va a tener que poner más. Ay, no. No, no. Yo soy consumo de faja. So, two hours is the max that you should be without a faja. But in DR, there's no dryer right now. So we have to work with what we have. Y por lo menos ahí le da una brisita y eso, eso es lo que mata también los lo gérmenes. Lo gérmenes. En lo oscuro, ¿no? La, la, la batalla, oye, la batalla. <ríe> oh, man. Just for my mask. Ya. Yeah. Bueno. Ya. Ya tuve mi ejercicio por hoy. Look at my babies. I'm gonna drink my insure and I'm gonna sit down. Otro so bucky sound. Yeah. I go light. I'm gonna drink my insure, you guys. No parece loca. Que no parece loca. A Ceci. No me agarré. Ay, Dios mío. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna drink my Enterex Plus. So, this is what the doctor gives you five, one for each day.